Hi, I'm Ted Jones, SAP Architect at Red Hat. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a retail IoT demo we've done with Intel, HPE, and SAP. We call it the uh, store of the future. Uh, so let's dive right in and see what the, the challenge was. So a fictitious retail chain called Joel's is looking to improve sales. Uh, they also want to create more of a, a digital engagement with their customers. And probably the highest priority issue here is they need to move product in a more timely manner because uh, they need to reduce excess inventory, which leads to stock obsolescence and uh, becomes, becomes really uh, expensive. So the solution that we came up with was we'll create a mobile application for store customers. So the, as a customer is walking in the store, they'll be engaging with the app. And we can also track customer movements in the store to determine where their focus is and other behaviors. And then using all of this data from, from the application, we can also target them uh, for coupons that will be created for those excess inventory. And we'll use other data like customer sales history and demographics, and then we'll real time send a message to their phone that will have the coupon and we'll update their app with the coupon that will be uh, targeted based on all of all of that data. Here's the reference architecture. Um, so let's kind of see how the data flows. It starts with the customer carrying the Joel's app walking around in store. And as they walk around, we'll send messages over MQTT to our message bro broker AMQ running an HP Edgeline device uh, in store. And then Decision Manager, will, which is our rules engine, will take that information and keep track of customers and de determine if they're focused in a particular department or if they're browsing. So if they're just kind of moving around the store looking for something, either way, we, we're going to put a message back on the queue so that our in-store application will see the customer movement and then get give a, a notification events to salespeople that, hey, this person may need assistance. We'll also have a recommendation service sitting at our edge, which will take that customer ID and then gather customer demographics and sales history. And that's gonna be used for our AI model for inferencing at the edge here in just a minute. But we also need to get the data to our data center so that we can train our model. So we're going to use MQTT uh, through Quarkus to convert that to a Kafka message, put that on our Red Hat OpenShift streams platform, which will stream that data to the data center, uh, to data intelligence listening for that uh, Kafka topic. Within data intelligence, we have Intel DAL libraries, which are AI optimized libraries for Intel Xeon processors, which will speed the training. Um, and then once we have a fully trained model, we're ready to go to production, we'll commit it to GitHub and kick off a GitOps ML ops process. It will go through our OpenShift pipelines and then make its way to Red Hat Quay, which is our image repository that will allow us to push those images out to all of our edge devices at all of our branches. So that gives us a prediction service containing the production model that's going to take the information from the recommendation service. So uh, the customer demographics and sales history and determine you know, based on their movements in store and other data, which coupons are they most likely going to uh, act upon. We'll put those coupons on our broker where the phone will be listening uh, to those to that topic. We'll notify the customer, hey, you've got a new coupon. Um, and it's probably a coupon that they're likely to act on based on, on uh, our machine learning. Here are some of the key technologies. So at the edge, of course, we've got HP uh, Edgeline. Could be 8,000 or 4,000. Uh, depending on capabilities, uh, of course, Red Hat products. And then uh, at the data center, we're using HP ProLiant servers and SAP data intelligence running on OpenShift, as well as Intel libraries. Uh, 
So we, we've got a demo, uh, an AI as part of this where um, we've created a simulator. So you can actually simulate customer movements and then sort of play it back. So now you can see here, it's playing back the movements. You can also see what the customer is seeing on their, their phone. Um, so as we get those focus events, that's where the algorithm is going to kick in and target them for a coupon real time uh, based on that focus event and the other data that I mentioned. And then they'll, they'll see that coupon in their store or in their phone. And then uh, we also identify the people that need help uh, within the store, you know, based on their movements, either browsing or focused so that the salesperson can go directly over there. So this is available in GitHub under our retail store of the future repository. So you can take a look at, at the, uh, the AI algorithms, the models that are put out there, as well as uh, the other tech involved. Um, you can run this on your laptop. Uh, it has Docker build capabilities. So um, you can deploy directly in OpenShift or, or run it locally if you just want to play around with it yourself. Um, so I would encourage you to do that. So let's uh, take a look at some of the business outcomes of this solution. So we, we achieved the reduction in excess inventory and stock obsolescence by targeting the, the excess inventory that the uh, store would like to move as well as targeting the customers with targeted uh, coupons based on their behavior and, and other data related to that customer. And we give them a better customer experience uh, because they're able to interact with sales, salespeople direct, directly through their phone. And of course, ultimately we'll have increased revenues due to the sales generated from the coupons. If you would like to have a conversation about this demo or any other use cases uh, with your company, please reach out to us at hpteam at redhat.com. And then we also have um, a collection of other resources that will be uh, of interest to you around other uh, projects that we worked on on AI and SAP data intelligence. And of course, a link to our GitHub repository. Thank you.